And the idea of scientific notation is that uh, any number can be expressed as one non-zero digit. Followed by a decimal point, followed by decimal, times 10 to some integer. So, for example, uh, the number negative 3,481.9. You can write that as negative 3.4819 times 10 to the third. Um, 10 to the third is a thousand, so you get a thousand times this, and that's the original number. And it works with numbers smaller than one, too, like uh, 0.0087 is equal to 8.7 times 10 to the negative third. So 10 to the negative third is 1 1,000th. 1, Multiply that times 8.7 and you get this. Um, I was going to say something, but... Okay, so that's the idea. Um, and uh, by the way, this is not doesn't really involve us because I'm not going to uh, care about science uh, about significant figures. But scientific notation takes away some of the pain of uh, like you remember when you had to le learn the rules for how many significant figures a number has. And it's like, what do you do with zeros? Well, if the zeros are all at the end of the number and before the decimal, they don't count as significant figures. If they're after the decimal, but and there's, uh, if they're after the decimal, they're always significant figures. And, you know, there's these rules and they're, um, they're a little cumbersome to use. If you have a number written in scientific notation, it's just simply every digit before the times 10 to the whatever is significant. And that's the end of it. It's really easy. Um, so for example, this one, how many significant figures does that have? If you look at this number, you have to remember the rules for where the zeros lie and whatever. If you look at this, it's just the two digits before the times 10 to the minus third. Um, okay, so there's two methods we have to learn. We have to do two things. Um, We need two skills, I guess. Um, first one is we need to be able to take a number that we're given in standard notation and express it in scientific notation.
Um, and as I go through, it's just going to be two steps. But as I go through these two steps, I'm going to use the example negative uh, 541.6. Okay, so that's, we'll say that that's the number that we're given that we want to put into scientific notation. Okay, so the first, um, the first step uh, is count the number of places and we're going to count that number of places n. And you have to move the decimal point left or right to get one non zero. leading digit. So one non-zero digit before the decimal point. Okay, so in the example I'm using, how many places you have to move the decimal point so that there's only one digit before the decimal? Two, and do we have to move it to the left or the right? Yeah, so we have to move it two to the left. And then if you moved it to the left, you're going to multiply by times 10 to the positive n. If you had to move it to the right, you're going to multiply by 10 to the negative n. In our case, we had to move it to the left. So we're going to have negative 5.416 times 10 to the positive 2. Any questions about that? Okay, so that's going from standard to scientific. We also need to be able to go from scientific to standard. So the second thing we need to be able to do is get a number in scientific notation and express it in standard notation. And for this one, the um, example I'm going to use is 6.52 times 10 to the negative fourth. So the first thing you have to do is read the absolute value of the exponent and its sign. The exponent is negative 4, so um, in our example, so the absolute value of the exponent, that's what I'm going to call capital N again. So n in this case is equal to 4, and the sign is negative.
And now if it's negative, uh, let me do positive first, so I did last time. So, sorry, if it's positive, move the decimal point in places to the right if it's negative move the decimal point in places to the left okay so um our starting value was six. I'm going to leave the decimal point out right now. I'm just going to write the six, five, two. But we started out with the decimal point between the six and the five. Our end value is four, so we're going to move the decimal point four places one way or the other. The exponent was negative, so we're going to move it to the left. So I'm going to start where it was. And go one, two, three, four. Each one of those placeholders is filled by a zero. And so there's the number in standard notation. Um, and you don't have to use that method. That's just a way for each of those that works. Uh, if if you have a way that you're happy with, keep doing that. I don't, you know, I don't care if you use that method, but um, if you don't have a way that you're comfortable with, here's one.